Yes, it's 2023. And yes, I'm doing a control review. <laughs> you might be thinking, yo, didn't control come out forever ago? And yes, it did. And it's been on my backlog for a very long time. But I finally got around to playing it, thanks to PlayStation Plus Plus, or whatever the upgraded service is called now. I really don't know what they've changed the name to. But I own it on, like, Epic. I own it on Steam. I'm pretty sure I have it on Xbox as well. I've had this game so many times, but I finally got around to playing it. Uh... So I'm finally going to give my thoughts on it. This is the Control Ultimate Edition, so it includes both DLCs, which I'll touch on a little bit. But this is just a really fantastic game. It's like a psychological horror. It has all sorts of cool... Like, like the world is just cool and interesting. Ties into Alan Wake a little bit. Um, and Remedy just, like, knocks it out of the park with this. And I'm sure many people have already told you how fantastic this game is. And I'm another one. Um, the controls in control are actually like so intuitive the different powers you get just feel so natural each button like controls a different power the gun plays okay um <laughs> uh, I, I wish it was better but the gun itself is is cool you get different modes in it and you get extra modes on top of dlcs extra uh, powers as well uh your base one's basically just gonna be telepathy but that telepathy launch is just fantastic you get the ability to float and just exploring this world inside this like contained space it's just very exciting so in control uh, you're playing as a girl whose name i can't remember i really should have looked that up before doing this video but i did not <clears throat> and um her search for her brother inside the control department which is like kind of like uh oh what was the alien no not alias no x files x files what i'm trying to think of it's kind of like an X Files esque organization that basically locks up all these different objects of power. Um, and these objects of powers are essentially how you go into this other world on the other side, which is kind of where the leaders of this whole thing are called in the foundation. But so you're in the old house, which is almost like a character in itself because it shifts, it moves, and the different ways it opens up are just interesting and engaging and you want to explore every inch of this house uh you get different floors each floor has a different purpose you have executive which is where you start off it's kind of like just you know base buildings base base store i look for like office buildings um go through uh pr that one's pretty straightforward you don't do a lot of backtracking in it but it's your introduction to this world of control and these different um dark beans that are coming up and possessing all the workers that don't have certain devices on them and uh, the hive i believe they're called no the, the hiss the hiss is what they're called um basically they've infiltrated this old house and you start off there looking for your brother uh, which is your main purpose as you go through you go to different levels maintenance um the power plant's part of maintenance it's, um god i can't remember the other the research it's maintenance research and third one because there's four total before the dlcs i believe uh, but anyways each level uh is is different in how the hiss have formed it and attached it so like maintenance is like it's more like a warehouse type level um research is like where all the labs and stuff are but like the walls and everything have shifted uh there's one like bathroom and one of the floors where you go through you just open up and you're like in the other side like it's all destroyed and floating and as you it's almost metroidvania s in a way as you get more powers you can explore more you can backtrack you can find extra objects of power and you just want to do all the side missions you want to do everything in there um control does have some downsides i'll get into and that's kind of while the story itself is fun and engaging, it makes you think. I think by the time we get to the finale, I was still confused on a couple of things. Not in like a complete bad way where it's like, no, this was an interesting psychological story, but figuring out what happened. But at one point, like they made me think that because you do run into her brother eventually, who's been sent here um, as like a director prototype. He was being raised to be the director and just didn't work out. Did you learn the backstory? But they're making it seem like he wasn't real and he was her and I, I kind of kind of had to do some research at the end of it to be like okay what really happened at the end but it was a game that made me want to go and look and see what really happened in the end so it was just so engaging and fun but like a game with such great gameplay is what makes control so awesome and like having that psychological tale that i care about and want to look more into 
afterwards just shows how engaging this story was on top of such great gameplay and like remedy could do no wrong with this like i enjoyed the alan wake game i never played the new nightmare i believe is the like spin-off dlc like the little small thing that came out I never played i played the original alan wake i played a little bit of the max Payne games can't really remember them but they were fun movies terrible but they were fun from what i remember but i really enjoy alan wake really enjoy this really like quantum break um and the way that all these universes are kind of tied together and then we get into the dlcs and the foundation is amazing uh in my opinion you just go into basically just like this mine system and you're searching for um marshall who's a character you meet in the main game she's down here for some reason and i just felt like this big open cavernous area was so different from like the more condensed corridors inside of most of control but i thought the game will do all this stuff in such a wide open space it was a lot of fun and then the aew dlc is the dlc that directly ties into alan wake and it adds like a whole nother level of um gameplay with the darkness obviously something from alan wake where you need the flashlight how you combat that without like just having a flashlight and how it ties into alan wake and fully brings alan wake into this world i thought was also magnificent so yeah control ultimate edition is a must play if you haven't if you're someone that waited like me till late 2022 so when i wound up playing it uh, i highly suggest you do i'm really excited for where this world goes next and i'm even more hyped for alan wake 2 finally coming out after playing this game and how it will tie back into this world but yeah remedy can do no wrong in my eyes Thank you for this amazing game. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Um, it would be a 10 out of 10 if the ending was just like a little little more like, okay, here's what actually happened. Just just a little more. I still want like a little bit of confusion, a little bit of like misdirect, but like I, I didn't know if the brother was real. <laughs> like, like was he real? Was she the brother? That's where that's what the game made you think. And it's cool it made you think that way, but didn't really like give you the definitive answer at the end. Like just, just a little little bit of affinity and that would have been good but yeah really enjoy control let me know what you thought about it down below let me know what games are on your backlog that you're like man i should finally get around to and i'll let you know if you should get around to it because i play, play a lot of games uh but yeah please like share subscribe you know the drill um i'm recording like five reviews in a row because i'm so behind on stuff that i did and i have no clue when they're gonna post so uh you'll know before i do see you guys next time